Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to update or config v6 core on an Ubuntu uh, operating system. So it's very similar to updating or config v6 core on a Rocky or CentOS operating system, but just wanted to do this video so you could see it for yourselves and, and uh, understand the experience and steps you need to go through. So on the github.com slash or config uh, homepage. Uh, of course, you've seen we have our installation guide here. We also have our updating section. So I can scroll down or click on this hyperlink, and it brings me to two two scripts: one for our CentOS uh, Rocky Rel uh, distributions, and one for our Ubuntu. There's only a very subtle difference between the two of them, and that's uh, the Apache web server is named differently. They're essentially the same script. So as per previous videos, I'm going to go side by side here and uh, let's bring up this one. And I'm still logged into uh, my Linode from the Ubuntu installation video. So we're right here. Let me just uh, let me verify the operating system. So if I do a cat slash SC slash LSB. Yep, that's our one uh, Ubuntu 22.04 Jammy and we have our config installed. OK. So let me do a clear again. Now, oops. Okay, so, uh, and this is our dashboard for uh, this installation. It's all good. So I've done a minor update to the readme file in between videos. So at least you'll see the, the, the uh, GitHub update uh, when we do the pull, right? So now, like I said, in the Rocky update video, we can you can copy the entire script and I'll actually do that towards the end of the video. But we're just gonna go through it line by line for the experience of it. So CD into the or config directory, do the git pull. Okay, uh, oh, I know what this error is. If you see this, just execute that command and do the git pull again, all right. So it says, to add an exception for this directory, run this command. So I just ran that command and now I'm gonna do the git pull again, it's all good. So we can see the, the minor modification to the readme file, perfect. No major code updates for this update, but again, it's just the experience of it. Always run the migration. Okay, so what this does is any changes uh, that we have made to the database, um, they're migrated to the database using this command. Uh, say yes, you always say yes, uh, even if there's no changes, right? Always do a migration. Uh, you never know when we pop something in or make stru so, some structural changes to the database. Um, run your sync tasks, uh, do a composer install. That'll usually take a second depends on the speed of your internet connection. And that's perfect, clear the screen. Uh, restart Apache 2, again, oh, this is for Ubuntu, it'll be HTTPD on uh, CentOS and Rocky, and run your R config clear all, okay? So once that's done, back to your UI, perfect, that's all good, back to your UI, now, as I said in previous videos, I always do a control shift and R, do a hard reload on the page that ignores any cached items or anything like that. And make sure everything's green, right? Your environment status is green, horizon is running, ping is reachable, all that kind of stuff. I always pop into the queue manager, make sure that horizon is active and that's your update done. Now, I said I'd do it. So I'm literally gonna bounce back, copy the script in its entirety, clear the screen and paste it in. You will be asked for permission to run the migration. Yes, we do want to run it. And as I said, you don't need to copy it in uh, line by line. You can literally just plop it in and let it do its thing. And once it's done, head back to your UI and refresh the screen, Control, Shift, and R, okay? And that's it. Ubuntu is up to date with our config v6, 4, uh, v6 core uh, code base. Thanks a lot for joining, folks. Catch you next time.